right. Unfortunately, today we have some sad news as Oscar winning composer James Horner died yesterday in a plane crash at age 61. Horner was known for composing scores for movies like Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, Aliens, Glory, Braveheart, Apollo 13, Titanic, A Beautiful Mind, Avatar, and many others. He was nominated for 10 Academy Awards and won two of them, both for Titanic. Dennis, what are your thoughts about James Horner's passing and his music? Uh, it's sad to hear about his passing. It's looking at recent pics of him, he does not look, uh, he didn't look 60 something no. years old. He looks pretty young. Um, yeah, he's one of the iconic composers of today, along with John Williams, Hans Zimmer, uh, and a few others. I mean, I looked at that list of, of movies. It's that incredible. He's yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, we all know him from Titanic, uh, Braveheart, uh, Avatar, well, stuff Star like Trek that. Two. Star Trek One of the most incredible scores, just like that. No, 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 no. Like when you know when Khan's ship is coming over the horizon, it's just that music helped make that sequence. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's sad to hear him, and, and just the way with the plane crash and everything, it just seems you know with Harrison Ford recently in a plane right. crash, and you had those two. Um, Filmmakers that worked with James Cameron, they died in a helicopter crash recently. It's right. just, I don't know, it just feels like, oh man, people need to be, I guess, a little more careful. It's really sad news, and he picked his material so well. He wasn't like a lot of composers that are just going to sign on, just give me as many movies as I can possibly cram right. into my schedule. He really took his time picking and choosing what projects he wanted to work on. And I know he won the Oscar for Titanic, and he right. did big movies like Avatar and Apollo 13. My favorite score of his is Field of Dreams. That I can still hear that in my head, and I just it's just one of those ones that constantly gets in my head no matter what I'm doing I can always it's one of my favorite movies of all time and I can hear that score from the opening scene to when Kevin Costner walks and he ends up he, he figures out that he's been transported back in time so he can meet Moonlight Graham it's just it's an incredible and it fits that material so well it's really really a loss yeah I think for me uh, my favorite is Brainstorm which is a, a relatively unknown film starring Christopher Walken directed by Douglas Trumbull but James uh, James Horner's music really adds a lot to those trippy kind of VR sequences, you know? I think his score for A Beautiful Mind always sticks out to uh -huh. me. Uh, and obviously Titanic as well, because sure. of that one. Titanic you, was a great score. It was it yeah. was a great score. I mean, it sold like 28 million records yeah. worldwide, and everybody thinks about Celine Dion. But right. that score, look, I cried watching Titanic. I'm a man, I can admit it. <laughs> one of the reasons is that you're not just going to cry because of the action happening on scene, on screen. You need some, some sort of musical accompaniment mm -hmm. to really tug those heartstrings. That's what it did.